Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. April 2nd, 2024. I pray that we are doing well this morning and I pray that as we go through the day that we will go with the Lord. I pray that the Lord will continue to pour his blessing out on you and your family. Our reading today comes to us from Job chapter 1 and we will continue from verse 6 to verse 11 and it says now there was a day when the sons of god came to present themselves before the lord and satan came also among them and the lord said unto satan whence comest thou then satan answered the lord and said from going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down in it and the Lord said unto Satan, As thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in all the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that feared God and eschewed evil. Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Doth Job fear God for naught? Has not thou made an edge about him, and about his house, and about all that he hath on his side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hands, and his substance is increased in the land. But put forth thine hand now, and touch all that he hath, and he will curse thee to thy face. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his word. And as we continue from yesterday, where we spoke about Job, we touch on the fact that he was a man who always put his family before God and in particularly his children. And today we are at another section in the story and we are going to see what happened to Job next. Let's take a look. One day God was having a meeting and Satan also presented himself in that meeting. Uninvited of course. God asked him where he's coming from and he, his response to the Lord as the reading says that what he's coming from going to and fro on the earth and there's another scripture that tells us that what the devil is like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour so you see the the, the relationship that those two verse have so which mean that Satan is on this earth everywhere you go and he have agents stationed everywhere. Now, God asked Satan the question that if he realized that Job was a man of righteousness and that Job, he hated evil. And Satan respond to God was that you are sadly mistaken that Job is only serving you because of all the things that you do for him. I mean, Look at the amount of wealth that he has. L look at how you are blessing him. That's the only reason why you are, he, 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 he is serving you. That's the only reason why he is serving you. If you should take away everything that he has right now, I guarantee you that he will curse you to your very face. In fact, he will stop serving you because his loyalty is not to you but to the blessing that you bless him with. Now, as we go along, we will realize that Satan was wrong to the bone, as you would say. His accusation against Job was not true because as we will see that Job was really a man who loved and feared God. Amen? Is that true about you? Are you serving God because of how God is blessing you? If that is the reason and if that's true about you or me, then we have a problem because our life should not be entangled with the things that God has blessed us with. So what is going to happen when all of these things, they are gone? Are you going to stop serving God? No, something to think about. Satan, remember, he said that he was moving to and fro upon the earth, which means that he is watching each of us to see what it is that we are 
more interested in and if we are really loyal to God or we are loyal to the things of this world. The question that I want to ask, can God speak the words about us as he spoke about Job? Are you serving God for naught? Are you faithful to God because of what he has done for you? Or you are faithful to God because you love him and because you want to genuinely serve him with all your heart? If your answer is yes to the fact that you are serving him because you love him and you want to be obedient to him, then it means therefore that you are on the right track. But if your answer is you are only serving him because of what he's doing for you, then you have a problem because it therefore means that your relationship with God is based on material things or based on blessings and not the fact that you love him. So, as we consider the reading this morning, I hope and pray that the reason that we are serving God is because we love him. Just like Job, we need to stay away from sin. We need to stay away from evil. We need to eat evil just like Job ate it. And we need to love righteousness. The world needs more of that, more righteous living. And so may God continue to bless us and guide us as we seek to do his will. Amen.